Welcome back, everybody. It's Serene Queen TV. I'm doing another female rap review. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hop in the comments with your opinions. Let's talk about it. But today I'm covering Nicki Minaj, okay? The GOAT, the queen. I'm covering her with her own separate video and I'm gonna do more for this video than I did when I covered her with the other girls. I covered her with, um, or on the video, uh, why female rap today sucks or it was originally titled like the current state of female rap but when I like in the long video when I just kind of went down the list of everybody all together um, I covered her in that but I wanted to do a separate video for her because I just kind of did like a current like a the current state of Nikki you know she's been in the game longer than everybody I mentioned and I covered like some of the stuff she's been doing recently, but she's bigger than what she's been doing recently. So I wanna cover a little bit of everything, but I don't just wanna like kiss Nikki's ass and be like, oh yeah, 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 everything's good, everything's good. Because I do see some things that could use improving and I want to cover that here. So this is gonna be an honest and a fair critique of Nikki. Barbs, act how you want to act in the comments. I don't care because the video is still going up and I'm not going to take it down because people refuse to criticize their fate. That's part of why Beyonce is where she is because nobody can critique her. If you talk bad about her, you get attacked. So that's not good for artists. And y'all are gonna learn that at some point, you know, by trying to coddle them, you end up sabotaging your own favorite person. So let's get into it. I love Nikki, I'm a Barb. I'm gonna play her this whole time. And um, this is what's playing right now is Playtime is Over, one of my favorite bodies of work from Nikki. Um, her most rap involved project that I can really think of. So um, as far as like a whole body of work being like hardcore like rap, Playtime is Over is hardcore rap, like from Nick. So I really like it, not really pop music on there. Um, she goes pop later. So how do I feel about Nikki? I love her, but I think she does need some evolving. We know that she can rap. She's had bars since she first came out. That's why I still like Playtime is over because it aged well. It's full of bars. It's just bars, bars, bars. Like raps, raps, raps. Like good beats and raps. Like Nikki is it's really good. And that's why I don't see the other female rappers that well. I don't really like a lot of them because um Nikki's great. Like she's she raps better than them. It's not because I it's not because it's Nicki Minaj. It's because her talent. Like she can rap better than them. I liked Megan when Megan first came out because I felt like she had some good raps. Like now it's getting stale. It's getting one dimensional, like I've said in her video, but she, she can rap. Like again, Kaya, people talk shit about Kaya. Kaya can fucking rap her ass off. So I'm not here to talk about people all because I like them on Insta and I like their public persona. I'm here to talk about your music. Like I really like music and Nicki can really rap. I don't like all Nicki's songs. I don't like all Nicki's projects. Like, you know, there's, there's some of her music I really don't, like some songs from her I don't like. I don't like Megatron that much, but no, no, no. It wasn't Megatron. Was it that? It was that shot, 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 some drinking. Da, 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 da. Everybody was like all hype. No, it is Megatron. It's Transformer that I, I, yeah, I love Transformer with Future, but I don't like Megatron. And there are plenty others that I don't like. I really don't like Stupo. You know, a lot of people really don't like that. But um, she's got some love fucking hits. Like, let me, did I write that one down? No, I didn't write that song down. So as far as songs and kind of where I want Nikki to evolve. But I think Nikki needs to evolve because we all know that she can rap. But lately, um, I think the music, if, she do, if Nikki does not slow down and does not take this advice, 
she's gonna she is not gonna look too good and it's gonna like people she's always gonna have barb she's always gonna have fans but people who don't like her will continue to have an argument if she doesn't take this advice i'm about to give so just stick with me i think nikki needs to musically evolve i think she needs to evolve um past drill and ops and guns and you know all of that i just think she needs to back up because the last like year and a half what has nikki come out with let me let me even go back further because the queen album did have a you know it was heavy rap i don't recall pop hits on that album you know fifi was popish i'm looking at the track list right now pp uh fifi with six nine crazy eyes had like some pop sound on it i'm looking do i even have well come on why can't i find it on here there it is fucking apple music let me see yeah fifi is all i can think of everything else is pretty rapish and i think or pretty rappy and i think she did a good job with songs like sir she did a good song with just trying a good job with songs like miami of course chun sway chun lee hard white thought i knew you like um llc she gave us barbie dreams like she did give us uh, a lot of different like sounds. It, it's that's the thing I like about Nikki is she'll give you different sounds. It's not like it's all gonna sound the same. Like so different. It'll all be rap, but it'll have different vibes, which I enjoy. That's why I really like that song Hood Story on um on what you gonna call it? Playtime is over because she's it's bars, 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 but it's. Um, it's a different, like, it's just, it's a different flow. It's a different vibe, but you can still like chill to it, which I enjoy. So I like Nikki a lot. I just think the last few projects, like Queen didn't really, didn't have pop on it. It was straight up rap. And I felt like she did that because she needed to assert, reassert her dominance in the game with the rise of Cardi B clearly because that's why the album was named queen like it all goes along with with each other like that was a big comeback album after the nikki you know what was it like the thick of the nikki hate train you know right after the nikki hate train like she's coming back out reasserting dominance letting people know she's a fucking queen you gotta just deal and just like handle that shit um which is a great album like i think it aged well when it first came out i liked it you know i was like it's cool but now like i appreciate it a little bit more like i really love hard white um really great song and i just think again she she did a she did a good job but i wish she would have had a little bit more some pop to lighten it up because pop does well for nikki and it's a really great way to make a lot of fucking money and a lot of have a lot of um influence and a lot of popularity want you know again pop is for popular but people like pop music it gets a lot of radio plays so i wish she would have did um had one or two pop hits on there but after queen she hasn't released anything since then um she's really or not a project well she re-released her mixtape Beat Me Up Scotty, which I liked the re-release. I told you guys on in the long form video about why female rap today sucks. I told you guys that um, I wish she would have put all of the Beat Me Up Scotty songs. She put major the vast majority of them, but I wish she would have put them all in there because she left out Mine on My Money or Money on My Mind, whatever song that was, that she sampled Rihanna. I really liked that song. But I'm glad that she added Crocodile Teeth and Seeing Green and Fraction. So I'm glad she put some new songs on there with the re-release. But Crocodile Teeth, to me, was the standout. Again, rap, but a nice, like, chill flow, which I like what Nicki does. Crocodile Teeth reminded me of Hood Story, so that's why I liked it. So she, re she re-released that, but then she's been doing a lot of singles. Singles-wise... I told y'all I didn't like Bussin. I liked Do We Have a Problem. Again, a hit with a different sound, rap with a different sound. I like that about Nikki. Do We Have a Problem is very original. I really, 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 really like Red Ruby the Sleeves. It sounds like mixtape Nikki. Like she's going hard, pure raps, pure bars, great beat. I love it. Um, what else has she released? I'm about to go on Apple Music. 
because I'm like, let me really make sure. Oh yeah, I really like uh, We Go Up. That was a fucking hit. Loved that. Um, Super Freaky Girl, it was okay. I didn't, I don't, I'm kind of over freaky sexual music, so it didn't stick with me. But We Go Up, I liked We Go Up. She went hard. I loved Blick Blick. She did what she was supposed to do on Blick Blick. Um, Loving the Way with Young Blue. It was okay. It was all right. Like, I really don't like Young Blue. I really didn't like his part. Um, so I don't want to, like, just... Like, when I when there's a Nicki verse that I want to listen to and I want to avoid the other artists, I just take it from YouTube and then cut their part out and then just, like, save it. Like, on my... Like, I just have a bootleg version of just Nicki's version on my Apple Music or on my in my music library. So I don't listen to Love in the Way because I don't like Young Blue. And, um... I think her verse was all right, you know, but it just, it do, it doesn't have shit on We Go Up or Blick Blick. And I don't really play Blick Blick anymore because I don't want to support Koi. So We Go Up is where I'm really at. And Do We Have a Problem, which was a great song, but I've been really listening to a lot of Red Ruby to Sleeves because Nikki does a lot better by herself. Like she's got enough bars to carry her own shit. And I like her alone. She's, she's great on features. Please, you know, y'all know. She's fucking amazing. We love her on features, but um, I like her by herself, too. So just how I'm feeling about where she's been uh, musically. She also hopped on... What else did she hop on lately? She's been on a lot of stuff. She hopped on a whole lot of money. I, she did a good job with that. I don't know why Apple Music isn't promoting Do We Have a Problem? Because I'm on Apple Music right now. Like, okay, you guys, just act like that didn't happen. So, mm-hmm. I think the last few singles that she's released has been good. She's been releasing hits. Like, you, nobody can... Nobody can say that's not happening. I just believe she does need to musically evolve because um, all the talk of, is this really not playing anymore? Come on. I don't know what's going on. I'm having a hard time. I'm looking for stuff. But I think the latest music with all the ops and again, it's kind of giving a little bit drill. It's she's kind of going a bit hard and it's great. Um... I'm, I, I, it's okay, it's cool, but I just feel like, okay, okay, Nikki. There's a game of a lot of girls out here, and they're all rapping the same. They're all rap. what's this, what song is this? Oh, Barbie Drip. But it's just like, you... You're out here with a lot of girls now. They're all your sons, but they're all rapping like you. Or they're trying to rap like you the best that they can. A lot of them do sound like Nicki Blooper Roll. They really do. I told y'all, Lola Brooks freestyle signed it, sounded like a Nicki Blooper Roll. It was really bad. Um, but I just feel like, okay, okay, Nicki, look at the scene. There's a lot of girls who want to rap like you, but there's a lot of, uh, or want to look like you, but there's a lot of girls who are like doing drill rap right now. And with that being said, I would, if I were you, I would lay up off of that because you don't want to come off like you're trying to keep up or like you're trying to compete with people who you're far ahead of. Um, because Nikki is far ahead of these girls. She can rap better than them and she can sing too. Um, and again, rapping, when I say rapping, I mean writing your own shit. I don't mean how well you can regurgitate. So Nikki's talent is there, but I don't want her to get caught up in like super hard rap when like everybody else is doing that. And then it's just like a flood of drill music, a flood of music talking about ops and gunshots in the background and, you know, just shots, shots, shots. Like basically I'm tired of Nikki like within beef. I get it. I know a lot of it is manufactured beef. I do believe Nikki has to push agendas herself to stay relevant and to and n not because she really needs to musically, but because it's part of just what comes along with the industry. They need drama and they need people to 
play into narratives and, you know, whatever, whatever to push agendas to control the masses. I get it. But I just think Nikki is playing into it a bit much. I get her getting on Twitter and like riling people up. Like, I believe you guys that is Nikki playing the game. I don't believe Nicki Minaj really wants to do that stuff. I think she's playing the industry rap game, you know what I'm saying? Just doing what she's supposed to be doing. Like, again, throwing, you know, throwing shit out there, letting people eat it up, getting her engagement, getting her views, getting people talking. Like, controversy is a big part of being an artist. Whether you're a fine artist, whether you're an actress, whether you're a designer or whatever, whether you're a music artist, you know, if you're going to do art, or creativity you need to make people care and you need to get people riled up you need to get people talking and controversy is good that's why we love Kanye like Kanye is talented but he's so controversial which is really where his influence comes from like just the mess of it all just the controversy of it all and so it's needed and I think Nikki understands that and that's why she gets on Twitter and causes controversy but I kind of do wish she did play the Beyonce game of just not talking at all, like not talking to people, just dropping, because the other rappers, especially with the whole industry being against her, the other rappers are going to always use that, them and their teams, to try to like come at Nicki and, you know, just always keep like some negative shit around her when it's not really necessary because she's out selling and out rapping everybody. So she doesn't really need like, to engage with a lot of the fuckery and I just wish she wouldn't I want Nikki to just like if she if Nikki is going to engage with the fuckery I wish she would keep it strictly to wax again I wish she would just carry herself the Beyonce way because she shouldn't have been on Twitter with that lotto shit like I wish Nikki didn't did get I wish she didn't do that because you say like, if you know people already have a conversation about you being difficult and being problematic and being a bully and blah blah blah, don't get online and feed that shit. If Nikki wants to be a bully, I think she should do it strictly on her music because that's gonna cause a frenzy, you know, right there. But getting online, egging certain stuff on you know, I just wouldn't do. People are ready to defend Lotto because she is a Karen, okay? And she's got a team behind her. So people are willing to defend her. And then some people just don't like Nikki because they feel like she's been in the game so long. They just want a fresh face or a fresh energy. And that's sometimes what it's like. It's not like people just get tired of you. They just want somebody else like new. So I think that's some of the stuff going on with Nikki. But I just want her sound to evolve past street rap because she is older. And no, I don't think Nikki's a grandma and all that bullshit, but you know, she is, she's not like playtime is over Nikki. She's not, um, Pink Friday, you know, Roman Reloaded, the re-up Nikki. Like she's Nikki Minaj. Like she's to the point we just, consider, we just call her by her first name, Nikki. We don't even call her Nikki Minaj. We say Nikki because you know what we're talking about. Just like we don't say, oh, Beyonce knows, uh, you know, we say Beyonce. You know, we still say Kelly Rowland because, and there's no shade to Kelly, but it's just I'm saying, we still say her last name because we need to know who we're talking about. But, you know, we don't say Kanye West, we say Kanye. Well, now we say Nikki because she's that big. Um, and when you're that big, it's like, okay, you don't really need to like still prove you can rap with some of this music, you know, ops and this and that. You don't still need to prove that. You need to like, show that you can um evolve and Nikki has evolved pink print was her best body of work in my opinion that was really showing growth that was really showing um just progress like she was talking about more stuff than people being against her like really talking about family stuff relationship stuff she had just left safari so there was a lot going on in that time and the music uh, reflected it, but the music was really good. I think instead of so much rap, 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 I want to see Nicki with more pop and kind of slow it down with more of an R&B flow. Like songs that I really like from Pink Print and outside of that body of work too, that I think 
show growth and that kind of direction I want to see Nikita move in musically. Music like The Crying Game, uh, that was a great song. All Things Go, Moment for Life, Super Bass, Bed of Lies, Dark Side of the Moon, um, Regret in Your Tears. Those are songs by Nikki that are just really great. Like you, you hear her singing, they're kind of slow songs. She's in her emotional bag or super bass. She's in her pop bag. Um, I really like that song, Whip It, too. I'm typing that. Whip It was good. You know, pop bag. Like, I love pop Nikki. Get on your knees, you know, with Ariana Grande. Um, of course, filling myself with Beyonce. Like, Pink Print was her best body of work. She had the Beyonce feature. She had the Ariana Grande feature. I really am rooting for her to have a Taylor Swift feature. Um, her feature with Avril, Levant, with Avril Lavigne didn't do anything. Um, but it's nice to say that she has it. Sorry, it's my text to me. But those are some songs from Nikki that I think really show um, growth. And I want her to keep making music like that. What else? There's another song, too. Um, Here I Am. Here I Am is that fucking song. Like, I really, really um, want Nikki to make, you know, some stuff, more stuff like that. Because, yes, she can revisit, you know, mixtape Nikki, but it's like, Nikki, you have mixtapes. And if you want to continue to do that, then you should be like Wayne and just release mixtapes. But if you're talking about albums, you need to get on your R&B and pop shit. Like right now, because all of this drill and op music isn't gonna last. Like it's just not. It's very, um, it's like trap music. Like it's it's gonna have an expiration date. But again, like I was saying, compare her to Jay Z. Nikki is older now. She's married. She has a baby. She's not old. She's older. She's an adult. She's a full grown woman who's mature. She's evolved in her career. She's, or, you know, she's a top of her game. She's still dominating. She's settled into her spot. So it's time for her to, yes, like maybe slow it down a little bit or just make more stuff like about what's going on with her son and her family and her life and stuff like that. Um, because Jay-Z has done that. You know, the people were comparing 444 to elevator music, which is a good thing because Jay-Z is a rapper and rapping is a young person's game. You know, Nicki has to understand that. That's why some of the younger artists and some of the younger generation gives Nicki a hard time because music, the entertainment industry, period, Hollywood in itself is very ageist, very sexist, very racist, very colorist, very ageist. And um, they're not homophobic, they're fucking heterophobic. Catch that T. So with Nikki, it's like, okay, you know that the game is very ageist. Rap, even more so ageist. Rappers don't get the same grace that rock and roll artists do. Rock and roll artists still get praise when they're fucking, um, you know, in their 60s and 80s. And the T is, a lot of rap artists don't even make it to, to see that age. But when when R and B singers and soul singers and and rock musicians, you know, people love when they get old. But when rappers get old, people start reminding them that they're old as fuck. Like, um, yeah, Nick, in in rap years, forty years old is like sixty. That's why they're calling you grandma. That's why they're going in on Jay Z because he's like fifty. So they think the nigga is fucking damn near at an old folks home. And he's in great health, blah, 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 still rapping his ass off, but people still just feel like, oh, this nigga, oh, you know, this old ass nigga. So, um, that is what it is. I feel like with Jay-Z, he still need to grow up by, um, by rapping about drugs as much as he do. He's still rapping about, you know, bricks and this and that, still, you know, taking pride in that. His music has evolved content wise a lot, but there is still some street edge with Nicki. I want her to sing more. I want her to really show, I want her to use her last few years in the game to really show her singing ability. I think again, regret in your tears was a hit. She did a good job with that. So I want her to really bring more sounds like that. I really, really do. Let me know what y'all think. She has nothing else left to prove. So I want her to um I want her to just really understand that and to act like that. Because 
she shouldn't be going back and forth with none of these rat girls, period. And another thing is with the visuals. Nikki, you should not be rolling around on your back patio in Chanel. Like, you need to be, like, Nikki still doesn't have a Vogue cover. Nikki, you need to be like Beyonce in Vogue. When people see you, you need to have, all your pics should be editorial. Editorial, like, editorial pics, professional pics, magazine spreads. Like, Nikki needs to let people know, if you if you want to say, I'm the queen, I'm the queen, we know. But if you want to present like that more often, then you need to do queen-like shit, which is, you know, where is your documentary? Your shit should be on Coachella. You need to be out there at Coachella, Nikki, and you need to be in vogue. You need to be in um in all of the top fashion mags, giving us nothing but gags and looks. And you need to be on Instagram too with this with photos, professional photos, like not rolling around in the, on the back patio. Because it's like Nikki, no matter how much Chanel you put on, you're rolling around on the back patio and still rapping like you're um like like you're like you're doing a a, a come up DVD part two, you know, with with some of the visuals. Like when I saw, I guess the video for Red Ruby the Sleeves that she did in the backyard. She's going hard, doing her thing, being a rapper. But I'm like Nikki. Not only are you, you know, you you dress like. <laughs> like playtime is over or like come up dvd you know you're rapping like that you're dressing like that you're referencing old hair and the looks are good nikki looks good you know she does she looks very rich she looks rich she she looks she looks like she smells good she looks like her skin is so soft and like you can smell the wealth you can see the wealth like all the chanel shit nikki has you know the bitch is rich but i just feel like nick like if that's what you want to do you need a Chanel deal. You just had a Fendi deal. You need a Chanel deal with a fire ass spread. Like that's what you need. A fire ass magazine editorial spread with your Chanel collab. You need a Chanel collab. So I want her to like go higher in um, fashion. And um, and I really do want her to continue to go mainstream. I think she did with like stuff like Real Housewives. That was good. That was a good look for Nikki. Like TV more movies, top of the line movies. Um, I think her team, first of all, Nikki needs to get a solid team. She's been struggling with managers. She's been going through it. I think with some other people on her team, like hairstylists and clothing stylists. And I just know big shit with management is a problem. And I want her to get that together because if Nikki would get her management together, I think they would really, they could really help her go further and um and really try to get some of those deals that Beyonce and and the others are getting because I want it for her but another thing is I was going to say with her management oh well she I know she signed some artists so I hope that her next project features those artists I hope she does them like Wayne did her and I have confidence in Nikki I do so I hope that we hear some of those new artists on her next project but I just want her I want to see her elevated and not doing certain things um I feel like the she needs to go back to her natural look. She's regressing a little bit with the colorful wigs and the tight clothes. It's just like, Nikki, you were looking like pink print was your era, girl. Like, don't go backwards. Don't go back to... Like, like, because all of the other girls are doing that. They're following up behind you with that. So leave them where they're at and switch it up on them bitches. And give them natural. Give them... Sing Nikki, sing rapper, you know, Beyonce practically taking your spot. Talking about Beyonce, Nikki, Beyonce is after your spot because Beyonce is rapping and singing. And I know y'all going to think I'm reaching for the stars with that, but I've been feeling like that when Beyonce hopped her ass up on, what is that, ape shit and was rapping Migos and I'm just like, you know, and then, no, 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 that, that was a big one. And then when she, when she did that, uh, Ivy Park shit 
with Adidas and had her ass out, was turned around with the butt. I was like, you doing too much. I was like, you want to be Nicki Minaj so bad, Beyonce. You you rapping, you showing your booty, look like you got a BBL, you know. It's just like, you, do you, are you married to a rapper? You know, it's just like, so maybe he making you rap. It's, it's giving you want to be a rap bitch, your damn self. And it's like, Nicki, don't let Beyonce start rapping, girl. Okay, let it be known, and I think she's doing that, but um, no, 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 like, tell Beyonce back up, and really assert your queendom by doing just as many Vogue covers as she's, as she's doing, do your Vogues, do your W magazines, and um, you've been doing your Met Gala shit, but Go on your queen shit. You need a manager that's going to, like, really put you on to some extra high-level shit. Because Nikki should be doing couture. She should be doing, you know, again, editorials, galleries, museums. Like, that's the shit she need to be on. Um, more ballads. You know, pop hits. Yes, I need that for my girl. What else? I don't want her to retire. I just want her to change pace. Um, or, you know, or change some of the trajectory of what she's doing. As far as some of the beef, I think Nikki should just, again, be quiet and stay out of it. Because you, you was, you, you having problems with Lotto and now Ice Spice about to replace the bitch. So that's what Nikki should be doing. Let the other bitches fight among themselves. Let the other girls handle your light work. You have people like JT, people like Ice Spice, and many others, you know, who just love Nikki. And it's like, I mean, just all you need to do is just let let them devour each other. Again, I, I really believe Lotto and Koi and Erica Banks. And I mean, there's so many girls that I named on the other videos, you guys. Just go through. A lot of those girls are not going to make it. They're gonna get replaced. So it's like Nikki, just let just let them, you know, slide each other. Let them figure that out. Let them figure out how, who will survive in America. You just need to be the queen of the game and be Ray Charles to the bullshit. And play the game like Beyonce does with when people disrespect you, Nikki, you need I don't know what Nikki has going on behind the scene, but just blackball them hoes. Like Either blackball them or just, you know, make them get their career taken away. Like, do, do move like that because the shots and subs and stuff, like, it only goes so far. Twitter beef doesn't go anywhere. But um, just deal with it like that. I don't know what kind of power Nikki has at Republic. I think her label could be doing better by her. Me and Ashley Miracle agree to that. Um, so I don't know, Nick. I don't know if maybe you should get with another label. I kind of don't want her with another label. The answer is certainly not Atlantic. Um, but I just want to see her with more industry pull, more industry power. The things going on with industry execs is definitely affecting her career. Um, or I guess affecting how much power she has and how much she's able to do in Hollywood. But I just want to see her win, and I want Nikki to leave her house. I'm a homebody too, Nick. I don't like to leave. But Nikki, we know what your house looks like because you're always there. You are in your closet. You are on your patio, your backyard, your pool. You are in your driveway. <laughs> and I get it. You got a fly-ass house, like... Lord knows. And I know Beyonce, she'll do some photos at the house too. But Nikki, if you want to be at your house so bad, you need to have a room in your house just for editorial spreads. We should never be able to tell you at your house, Nikki. Get You have all of that goddamn space. If you don't convert your, convert your garage or convert one of your rooms or your basement to a damn editorial studio... We're going to have a problem. Do we have a problem? Yes, we do, Nikki. Get your ass up out the back patio. Like, and no more rolling around in $7,000 clothes or in all of that expensive shit. Like, get you, go back to a dance routine. Like, get you a little, you, you don't gotta, you don't gotta, um, 
Nikki is like, you don't got to really do choreography like that. You, you know, just do a little bop bop and have you some little dancers in the back. You know, come on now. You know what you need to do. But I don't want to see you rolling around no more. Stop that. So don't regress, Nikki. Go forward. I love you. I love the music. You're still releasing bops. I just want to see you um, just move into new heights. Like, there, there, you can always, always, always improve, and you can always go higher. And I want that for Nikki. I want it with editorials, films, and... Um, and <laughs> And yeah, more more ballads, more singing. So let me know how y'all feel. Get in the comments, talk. I love the barbs too, because I'm a barb. So if y'all disagree with me, tell me. Let's talk. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.